to my channel if you're new here my name is Niara Alexis and like the title says today I'm gonna be telling you three things I would absolutely never do to my hair ever just ever because sometimes I'll be seeing people do stuff and I'm like you're absolutely a lunatic <laughs> like I don't have no other words for it like you're crazy first thing I would never do to my hair ever again because it has been done before is use spritz yes that spritz the the pink hoe whatever it's called it smells like some sort of deathly chemical I would never use that in my hair ever again in life for no style never now I know you're probably thinking girl you put relaxer in your hair okay that is far worse than spritz what I will say is relaxer has never broken off and damaged my hair the way spritz used to be breaking my hair with no mercy first of all it just makes your hair so hard and crunchy and like to get that out I don't think you can safely get it out like unless you just like massage a bunch of oil on your head or like wash your hair in like really warm water or something because otherwise it's giving me like gorilla glue like it's giving me like plaster like hard people would spray that on and then like curl it like with a like a curling iron or a flat iron Fr literally frying our hair off now okay this is like a maybe never it's not like a for sure never but it's like maybe and that's tapins look I've had people comment like can you try tapins what do you think of tapins I think it's a hard no for me like I see people do them and they look great the other thing I do see though is like people that use them and wear them repeatedly and when they take them out they don't have no hair that's just my observation don't shoot me that's just my observation and my whole thing is is like y'all some of y'all be coming at me about my hair being relaxed but I'm like it's here though it's it's still here like I can take the clip in out I can take a weave out and I still got something there the, I'm sorry but tape on my hair just sounds like a death sentence to my hair personally because I feel like my hair is very fragile especially because I have a relaxer and it's like brittle a little bit or it can be brittle it's not right now it's looking good but like it can be brittle I just feel like that would be bad news bad bad the third thing that i would like never ever ever do to my hair whether it was relaxed or not is bleach it i would never bleach my hair i'm sorry i would never ever ever bleach. even if i was natural i would never bleach my hair i can't bleach my hair because it's relaxed y'all stop trying that i see too many people doing that online nowadays like oh i'm gonna bleach my hair and then relax it. and it's like that goes against everything everyone has ever told you about relaxer. Why are you doing it? You think you're the exception? You're not. But anyways, even if I could bleach my hair, if I wasn't relaxed, I just would not do it. And it doesn't have anything to do with like, all like the damage. Well, you know what? I'm not even gonna lie. It kind of does because low key, I feel like bleached hair be looking like so, so damaged no matter what. And also, I just don't think I'm a blonde girly. Like, I don't think I, I don't think there's ever a color that I would need to dye my hair that would require me to bleach it that would look good on me. Like, I don't think I'm a light hair girl. I think I'm a, a dark hair girl. And I'm saying that right now, I could reach 40 and be like, blonde me, babe. I don't think that's happening though. Like, I like my hair dark. I don't feel like lighter hair would look good on me. Like even if it was like a red or like a ginger color that everyone's doing these days, I don't think that's for me. I don't think that's for me. And on top of that, I just, I just feel like my hair would just like really just die if I bleached it. So those are three things I would absolutely never do to my hair. Just thought I would share, you know, just my personal opinion for most of it personally. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.